Okay, hello everyone. My name is Yang Dong and I'm from the Chinese University of Hong Kong. And our paper is entitled with the user satisfaction estimation with sequential dialogue uh, modeling in goal-oriented uh, conversational system. And first, let me introduce the background and some related words about this work. And there are two mainstream kind of uh, dialogue systems in our real world application. The first one is the chit chat based dialogue systems. In this kind of dialogue systems, the system ends to chit chat with the users uh, about some open domain topics. And another kind of uh, dialogue system is the task oriented dialogue system. In this kind of uh, dialogue system, the agent ends to uh, use natural language conversation to help user to accomplish certain goals. For example, in this case, uh, the, uh, the agent is end to uh, end to uh, help the user to uh, book some uh, restaurant. And in the broad area of the uh, task-oriented dialogue systems, uh, uh, we name it goal-oriented conversational systems. There are uh, many more different applications in recent years. For example, like the uh, conversational recommender system. In this kind of system, the agent ends to uh, make recommendations through natural language conversations. And also like the uh, conversational information seeking, uh, seeking system, uh, in this kind of system, the agent and to uh, uh, help user to interact with the search engine uh, using natural language conversations. And the uh, user satisfaction estimation uh, received increasingly uh, attention as it attached uh, great importance in uh, evaluating the dialogue systems uh, as well as uh, it can adjust the uh, dialogue strategy uh, uh, to better fulfill the user's goal in some goal-oriented dialogue system. Uh, in uh, existing studies often treat the uh, user satisfaction estimation task uh, as uh, a kind of uh, sentiment classification task or some uh, response quality assessment task and in this kind of uh, studies, they only uh, perform the USE task based on solely the, uh, the content features. And however, uh, we can see some other uh, USE uh, application in other uh, popular user engaged web services, for example, like the search recommendation or advertisement. And in this kind of web services, the, uh, the researchers identified that there are some other uh, important features that is important for the measuring the user satisfaction. For example, like those kind of interaction signals like uh, browsing and clicking logs. Uh, and also there are temporal sequence, for example, like the click uh, streams. However, this kind of uh, explicit in interaction signals are no longer uh, available in dialogue systems. Since uh, in dialogue systems, we uh, communicate with the uh, system using natural language uh, feedbacks, uh, and we do not have this kind of explicit interaction signals. However, uh, recent study finds that the uh, dialogue acts uh, can be served as uh, uh, an alternative uh, mass, uh, solution for this kind of uh, interaction signals. And for example, in this uh, UMAP 2020 paper, uh, uh, it found that uh, the act details, this kind of dialogue acts occurs more frequently in unsatisfactory conversational recommendation dialogues. And also users tend to take the action uh, contact menu surveys uh, when facing the system's failure in understanding their needs. And we can see that the, this kind of uh, dialogue act which will represent the user intent or action at each conversation turn can well reflect the fulfillment of the user's goal. So we can use this kind of uh, uh, dialogue acts as features to perform the user satisfaction estimation in, uh, in dialogue systems. So in recent years, several uh, pipeline-based uh, USE methods have been proposed in uh, uh, goal-oriented conversational systems where the dialogue act recognition task uh, abbreviated as uh, DAR is often viewed as an important preceding step uh, of USE tasks. However, uh, despite the effectiveness of this kind of pipeline method, there are several issues uh, remain to be tackled. For example, uh, the DAR task is also a 
challenging tasks in multi turn dialogue systems. And this kind of pipeline based approaches uh, suffer severely from the error propagation and inability to model interaction between uh, the two tasks. And second, the taxonomy for dialogue acts is diverse according to different application domains. And this will lead to a great expense uh, for acquiring uh, annotated dialogue acts label. And third, existing studies initially investigate the relationship between user satisfaction and each individual dialogue act while the sequential information behind the dialogue acts is neglected. So uh, in this paper to tackle the information uh, challenges, uh, our solution contained the following aspects. First, uh, we propose to uh, leverage the sequential dynamics of dialogue acts to facilitate USD in goal-oriented conversational uh, systems via a, a unified joint learning framework and we enable both supervised and unsupervised DAR for uh, the situation where the dialogue act annotations are available or not. And we also introduced two task adaptive self-supervised pre-training strategy, including system response selection and dialogue incoherence detection for enhancing the dialogue modeling capability for helping uh, the target joint learning problem. And then I will uh, introduce our problem and the uh, methodology. First, let me define the uh, joint learning of user satisfaction estimation and dialogue ad recognition tasks. Given the dialogue context containing uh, un utterances in a conversation session, the goal is to simultaneously uh, predict the sequence of dialogue ad labels uh, corresponding to the user intent at each turn. And meanwhile, uh, it required to predict the user satisfaction label by the end of it, this conversation session. And in specific, the dialogue, uh, the, the DAR task can be accomplished by either uh, supervised or unsupervised learning. And here is the overview of the proposed method. Uh, we call it uh, USDA, and I will introduce it part by part. First is about the uh, hierarchical transformer encoder. We employ this uh, hierarchical transformer encoder to encode the uh, uh, dialogue context. And first, it consists uh, of uh, an exchange level bird encoder. Uh, in this encoder, each, each exchange turn is first fed into a shared bird encoder to obtain the exchange level representation. And then we employ a dialogue level transformer encoder to capture the global context information in the whole conversation session. And the next part is about the dialogue ad recognition task. Uh, we can perform it as an uh, unsupervised learning task and, as well as a supervised learning task. So there are two variants of our USDA model. We name it first is the USDA cluster, uh, which jointly learns USE and unsupervised DAR uh, with a latent subspace clustering module for applications where the DA labels are unavailable. And we also have the USDA multitask learning uh, which conducts the multitask supervised learning of USE and DAR with the uh, ground tables. We use a, a conditional random field to capture the uh, transition of the sequential transition of the dialogue acts. And the next part is about the user satisfaction estimation task. We first employ a pair of attentive GRUs to capture both the uh, con content-based and dialogue act-based uh, dialogue transitions. And then we integrate the content and DA representation by a gated uh, attention mechanism. And the final uh, loss function is the sum of the USE task and the DAR task. And uh, the DAR task can be either uh, supervised learning or unsupervised learning. And then we also propose two task adaptive pre-training uh, strategies to uh, enhance the uh, dialogue modeling capability of our uh, model. The first one is the system response selection task. In this task, the motivation is that uh, the appropriateness or relevancy of the system provided uh, response is also highly related to the user satisfaction. And the second task is the uh, dialogue incoherence detection. In this task, the motivation is that uh, it is required to model the sequential information in the dialogue context for the DAR task, and also uh, whether the user is satis 
is satisfied is highly related to the dialogue coherency. And these two task adaptive pre-training tasks can also be uh, conducted in a joint task, pre uh, task adaptive pre-training uh, as the target joint learning procedure. And then I will introduce our experiment. Uh, we evaluate the proposed method on four di different uh, goal-oriented conversation datasets uh, from different applications, including task-oriented dialogue datasets like uh, multi rules and SGD, and also a Chinese uh, customer service dialogue dataset, uh, nam namely JDDC, and also a conversational recommendation dataset, namely uh, Redial. And we for the compared methods, we compare to both the those kind of single task learning methods for DAR and USE, as well as some alternative multitask learning methods, for example, like uh, joint DAS and uh, code GAT, uh, which are two state-of-the-art methods to jointly perform DAR and sentiment classification tasks. And in our case, we adopt the classification result as uh, of the last user utterance for USE tasks. And also a joint USE model, which is an USE approach, which jointly predicts turn level uh, response quality uh, labels and also the dialogue level ratings provided by the uh, user satisfaction. And here is the uh, experimental result on multi rules SGD and JDDC uh, datasets. Because these three datasets contains the uh, ground truth DA labels, so we can conduct uh, extensive uh, method comparisons on these three datasets, including both uh, single task learning method and multi-task learning methods. And we can see that uh, the proposed method USDA uh, outperform uh, all the existing methods, including uh, single task and multi-task learning method across these three uh, datasets. And we can also see that those kind of uh, multi-task learning methods is perform much better than uh, the single task learning methods. And for the uh, rig dial data set, in this data set, there are no ground truth, uh, uh, ground truth DA labels, dialogue act labels. So we can we could only uh, compare to some uh, single task learning method and uh, use, use the unsupervised DAR uh, module. So we can see that uh, even with the unsupervised DAR module, our method outperformed the existing single task learning methods. And we also list some uh, inferred dialogue acts for the redial data set with some top uh, representative words and examples. And we can see that uh, uh, by using the uh, unsupervised uh, uh, dialogue act recognition, we can also cluster the uh, utterance into several different uh, kind of dialogue acts. And the next uh, experiment is about the ablation study. We conduct its uh, ablation study to evaluate the effect of uh, each component as well as each task adaptive pre-training strategy in our method. And we can see that uh, this kind of components and strategy uh, contribute to the uh, final performance. Or see the DA feature and the uh, sequential modeling of the DA feature are important to the uh, final performance. And we also uh, conduct a quantitative uh, analysis of the feature importance uh, because the distribution of the gated attention weight uh, can indicate the, the importance of content and DA features. Uh, with this kind of analysis, we can find that the content feature are still the dominant feature in most of the goal-oriented conversational systems for USE. However, we can see that in the uh, conversational recommendation data set, the uh, DA features are more important. And also we, uh, we want to figure out what kind of DA uh, dialogue act sub subsequence are uh, more important in different kind of uh, dialogue, either satisfactory dialogue or dissatisfactory dialogue. And so we uh, proposed uh, an impact factor with the following uh, motivation to, uh, to measure the importance of each DA subsequence in different uh, kind of uh, dialogues. And we can see that uh, there are uh, several different kind of uh, DA subsequence uh, to be the most uh, discriminative uh, DA subsequence in different kind of uh, data sets. And 
uh, if interest, you can uh, uh, look at our paper and here I will not uh, detail each uh, DA subsequence. And finally, uh, uh, let me conclude our paper. And um, first, we leverage the sequential dynamic of dialogue act to facilitate USE in goal-oriented conversational systems. And we propose a novel method called USDA to jointly learn USE and DAR tasks uh, with a unified model, which support both supervised and unsupervised DAR. And we introduce two uh, task adaptive uh, self-supervised pre-training strategy for enhancing the dialogue modeling cap capability of USDA. And the uh, uh, experimental results show that our method outperform existing methods as well as validate the importance of dialogue act sequence in USE. And that's all my uh, presentation. Thank you. Thank you for a nice presentation and uh, uh, also this nice piece of work. So I'd like to see if there are questions from the chat. Um, okay, so uh, before we go to the questions from the audience, I have a question from my side. Okay. So regarding the experimental results in table, Two or three uh, table, table two, two yes the large okay. table so I, I I observe the CRE performs better than the MTL on the JDDC data set so yeah do, can you explain a bit more about the reasons behind that okay uh, because uh, I do not uh, detail the uh, data the uh, the data set uh, in JDDC this data set there are over two hundred uh, uh, classes of the uh, dialogue acts. So the we can see that the performance of uh, DAR task uh, is much much worse than the other two data set. So mm -hmm. if we uh, conduct the multitask learning with the uh, 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 not very uh, promising uh, DAR uh, performance, and we can see that the uh, multitask learning uh, may uh, may not be uh, com competitive, uh, competitive uh, with the uh, uh, unsupervised learning. Because uh, we also can see from this kind of uh, uh, quantitative uh, analysis, we can see that uh, in this case uh, for the uh, multitask learning, the uh, dialogue act feature is, uh, is not very important in, in JDDC data set, but in, uh, Compare with the uh, CL, the cluster, the unsupervised learning, this kind of uh, DA features are more important in uh, the unsupervised DAR. So we can see that if uh, in those kind of cases that the, uh, the DAR task is difficult, uh, we can also use the uh, uh, unsupervised DAR to uh, reach a better performance. Okay. Mm, that sounds like a good strategy and it could be applicable to other models, I suppose. Yeah. Okay, thanks.